The 50s was a great time to be alive for many reasons. If you lived through the 50s, I'm actually surprised you know how to use the internet. Just kidding. And for those who have no idea what happened, then you are in for a treat. I'm about to take you back to the time to the 1950s, so stick around for the fun. Welcome back to the America's Trip Down Memory Lane channel. In this video, we will be looking at the popular things from the 1950s. Once you're done watching this video, you'll probably agree with me when I say that we don't have any of these things again. Some of these things have changed thanks to technology, and others have changed for many other reasons. The 1950s were simpler times, and soon enough, you will know why. Televisions One of the most basic things you can find in anyone's house is a television, usually a flat-screen TV. Sometimes you might have a smart TV that lets you watch Netflix, Amazon Prime, and the like. You might even have a TV so big it actually covers the entire wall and can be seen from about a mile away. That is not how life was in the 50s. As I previously mentioned, the 50s were simpler times that can even be seen in their televisions. Back in the day, people had 12-inch black and white TVs, which they cared for like it was a vital member of the family. No one was allowed to mess with it, and Daddy probably watched over it like a hawk. In most places, many people could gather together to watch one program in the house of someone who owns a TV. Another thing to remember about these old TVs was how heavy it was. These things weighed a lot and usually had their own shelves, so there was no hanging your TV on the wall. It also produced a lot of heat, which could be felt by standing beside it. Apart from this, the channels available actually had an opening and closing time. This means that you could watch TV in the middle of the night, sometimes the TV stations closed to the evening long before midnight. It took a couple of years for colored TVs to come to America, and by that I mean to regular people's homes. Rotary Phone If you didn't live through the 50s, you must have seen rotary phones in some movies. These phones were like the iPhones of that time, as it was the most common one you could find around. Everybody usually had one in their home, and it gave its users some level of social confidence to have a rotary phone at home. One of the strangest things to remember about the rotary phones was the concept called a party line where you could share a telephone line with your neighbor. Usually, you would have to wait for your neighbor to finish their super long phone conversations before you could make yours. For the younger people, it sounds like a troublesome time, but for the older ones who lived through it, it must have been a memorable time. The Mickey Mouse Club and Mouseketeers Everyone knows Mickey Mouse, as I'm sure you must have seen him on TV or on the internet. Nowadays, it's easy for children to keep up with their favorite cartoons by watching them on TV or checking them on the internet. Things have really gotten easier now, unlike how it was in the 50s. The Mickey Mouse Club was a variety show for children produced by Walt Disney, which was shown on national TV from 1955 to 1957. Most kids at the time called the show Mouseketeers, and they came back from school to watch it on their old black and white TVs. This show was hosted by Jimmy Dodd, and each program had an opening march followed by musical and dance performances by the Mouseketeers. There were other popular Mouseketeers like Annette Funicello, Cubby O'Brien, and Karen Pendleton. Drive-In Movies The 1950s had something that we hardly have in our current age and day, that is the drive-in movies. Drive-in movies have been around since the 1910s, but they became pretty popular in the 1950s. One of the reasons why drive-in movies were made was because theaters were pretty small and couldn't accommodate everyone. The drive-in movie, lots, could hold anywhere from 100 to 400 cars at a time. And the cost to watch a movie was 25 cents per car, and an extra 25 cents for each person in the car. By 1958, there were over 4,000 drive-in theaters. The industry was pretty successful for many years, but by the 70s, many went out of business due to the construction of new movie theaters being built with inside seating like today. The drive-in movies were also pretty popular for teens in the 50s who needed a place to go to get some alone time away from their parents. A lot of guys took their girls to the drive-in, not for the movie, but for the smooching and making out. The drive-in movies became an icon of American culture. The improvements in technology at this time made the boom possible. Many drive-ins added playgrounds and concession stands to please the viewers. Many movies had cartoons being featured, shows to keep the viewers' attention. Drive-in restaurants A part of me actually believes that people in the 1950s loved to have everything on the go more than we do today. But the 50s were a bit different than how drive-ins are today. In the drive-in restaurants in the 1950s, you don't get your food from a tiny window. Instead, your food was delivered by waitstaff on roller skates or car hops, as they were usually called, or through a conveyor belt. 
Back then in the 1950s, people loved getting their food delivered to their car windows. It was a brand new concept in a period where quicker was better and convenience was very important. Some of these drive-ins were even themed, making them a big hit with the customers. Diners and Jukeboxes In present times, diners aren't as popular as they used to be in the 50s. Now everyone wants to go to a fancy restaurant or a McDonald's or places like that. Back then, in the 50s, McDonald's restaurant had just been founded in 1953, but it wasn't very popular with the people. Instead, teenagers preferred to go to small diners or greasy spoons where there were jukeboxes and soda fountains. This was one of the best things about being a youngster in the 1950s. And then, soda fountains were a real thing that made diners even more fun to be in. Elvis Presley and Rockabilly one of the greatest and most memorable things about the 1950s was turning on the radio and listening to one of Elvis Presley's tunes. Songs like Heartbreak Hotel and Love Me were all the rave at the time, and people always loved to listen and sing along to these songs. Whether you are a young person or not, you must have heard of Elvis Presley, even if you don't know a lot of his songs. Elvis was one of the pioneers of rockabilly, a combination of country music and rhythm and blues music. He was also famous for greased back hair and sideburns. When he swayed his hips while singing, he got the girls screaming. American Bandstand and the Jitterbug Dance Have you ever heard of American Bandstand or the Jitterbug Dance before? For most people who lived in the 50s, this brings up some pretty nice memories, especially if you were a pretty good dancer back in the day. The legendary Dick Clark produced American Bandstand, and it had its initial showing on national TV in 1957. On this daily show, hosted by Dick Clark, teens would dance to the top 40 hits of the day. The most popular dance in the beginning years of the show was the Jitterbug or Swing, which had its origins in the 30s. Teens would dance this way to the rockabilly of Presley and other popular singers like Buddy Holly and the Everly Brothers. Playing Outdoors now, this might not seem like much to some of you, but if you've lived through the 50s, you'll understand why this point is on the list. Unlike today, where kids are always indoors on their phones or playing video games, the 1950s didn't have any of these things. And as such, the only other option was to play outside. It was also a pretty safer time then, and kids could play outside their homes without fear. Plus, the whole street was doing it, so they were probably not the only kids outside. Times like that are memorable to anyone who lived through the 50s. You may not have witnessed the 1950s, but after watching this video, I bet you must have had a little taste of what it was like to be alive at the time. Thank you for watching this video. Hit us up in the comments section and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.